Hey everybody, good morning. It is a Saturday morning. I'm about to get my brows done and then I'm gonna go drive to see my mom and hang out today. We're gonna have lunch and shopping, so come along with me. By the way, I have been enjoying making banana bread lately, so I'm bringing some to my mom. And one of them is chocolate chip and one of them is uh, walnuts. So I'm very excited. I made it so good. Um, I'm usually not very good with cooking or baking, but um, I, I don't know. I lucked out and did really well on that one. Hey, okay, I just got my eyebrows done. I'm gonna just quickly fill it in. My esthetician is seriously amazing. Okay, I just need to do it quickly so I can drive and see my mommy. Oh no. My um, glasses left me no spad dents on my face again. Oh my gosh, seriously, I love her. She makes my eyebrows look so pretty. And I think we've found the perfect um, style, I would say. Um, basically, I just tell her, not thin, but not thick either. <laughs> and then she gets this perfect look. I am so happy. And I was talking to her about... Um, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced it where you, you know, you're seeing someone good for, uh, you know, whatever services it might be, like maybe your hair or your eyebrows or something like that. And then all of a sudden they leave the salon and I was just telling her that that sucks because one time I had a nice stylist for my hair and then like she just up and disappear and apparently... There is a contract that they sign that um, they they can't tell you know their clients at that salon where they would go or where they went. Um, and then if you call that salon and ask, hey, where did this person go? Um, well, sorry, can't tell you. They just left is basically what I was told. And apparently it was because they signed a contract. And so I was like, um, okay, so please don't go anywhere because I don't know what my eyebrows would be like without you because um, I'm just looking in the viewfinder real quick how it looks. Because, yeah, I don't know what I would do without her. My eyebrows will never be the same without her. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but when I get my brows done, I get it waxed. And that's kind of how I like it because I feel like that pretty much... Um, last the longest for me i tried uh threading before it was at the mall and i don't know maybe they just didn't do it right or maybe i just didn't tell them what i wanted but after like a week or two the hairs just all grew back like all at once <laughs> and i'm like this is not what i wanted i wanted it to last you know at least a month usually i go and see her like be between four to six months no four to six weeks and so yeah i mean that's i mean that's a good time right and then in between then like before in between what is it sessions no what am i trying to say in between treatments i suppose you could say um i would try and pluck a little bit as i you know as i'm able and I would only do it like at the bottom because the top, I just, I can't do it. I don't know what I'm doing. So anyways, I'm going to go and drive now to see my mom because, yeah, we're going to have sushi. I have been craving sushi for a while. Um, two weeks. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go now. I have to turn you off.
finished lunch it was delicious and then we went to the oriental store and got my favorite tamarind candy and I went to Target because Target is the best <laughs> if you are vegan this is your milk I've tried this chocolate one it's not bad you know it's delicious they also have vanilla and then I'm not sure what the original is very nice I've spotted some youtuber books Zoe uh, Dan and Phil um, I'm not sure if this is YouTube and then there's Zane there is John Green they have a purple rug it's so cute it's a bath mat look at it another proof why I love Target we're getting free detergent <laughs> I'm so weird but we're gonna get this for free okay time to pay We've been to Costco and now we're at Ulta. I'm buying my Too Faced foundation. This is the Born This Way in Light Beige. I also have five times the points for Tarte, so I'm gonna get this lipstick for spring. I'm so excited, it's coral. I just discovered Shea Moisture has makeup. Look at that. Um, I'm guessing these are natural. Cool colors, ooh, that's an interesting one. And then they have the crayons, just like, you know, usual, <laughs> per usual with um, makeup. Cool. She's making the um, cream for the Swiss roll. Mm. It's so fluffy. Look at it. It's so white. Behind the scenes of the icing. This one is supposed to be chocolate. And then the other one is just plain. Yummy. She's rolling it. Did I mention this is a Swiss cake? If I didn't, that's what it is. <laughs> it's coming together. That looks beautiful. That's gorgeous. Oh, and here's my little end part of it. Focus, please. Let's see. Tasting. Mm, that was better. That was so weird. Mm. Look how pretty. Dinner was delicious, and of course, the cake as well that my landlady made. It was delicious. I mean, I tell her that pretty much anything she makes um, is delicious and she usually makes uh, the Swiss cake, is that what it's called, that she made tonight and then um, if not that she makes cheesecake but it's like a different kind of cheesecake, I don't know what it's called but it's so fluffy and so soft and <laughs> yeah so that's delicious and I thought she was making cheesecake today and I was like I thought you were making cheesecake. Um, and she wasn't, but that's okay because I like the Swiss cake too. Uh, okay, I wanted to show you quickly what I got from the source today. I got eight of my tamarind candy. Uh, this is made from Thailand. And then I wanted to show you what I got from Ulta, my Born, Born This Way Too Faced foundation in light beige. And then the Coral Blossom lipstick from Tarte that hopefully you saw in an earlier clip. My arm is aching, gosh. I am so bad. And then I also got the OGX Voluminous Mousse. I'm hoping this will help my hair not be so flat anymore. Like, ugh. okay. So yeah. <laughs> and then the last one is a detangling comb. And I'm very happy with how this looks. I just love it. And yeah. So yeah, I'm excited to use this. It has uh, infused with almond and avocado oil. Sounds healthy. It says it promotes healthy, hydrated hair. So. I'm very excited for that. <laughs> I don't know, I get excited by the littlest things. Um, anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And then there's also a bell button supposedly that will notify you when I upload a video. So click that as well if you would like. And I will see you in my next video.
Bye.